Hello everyone and welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. Today we are on the PTR and Chromie is available. Now she already had, um, I'm not sure who, but someone did a spotlight of her. And so we know her abilities as well as her uh, talents. However, I wanted to try her and uh, possibly give you my opinion on her. So Chromie. Let's start with her abilities. First off, she has Sandblast. Very long range, I like it. I'm gonna hit Arthur's from here. For a little Arthur's. Uh, it does have a charge time. But that does not matter too much. Well, I guess it kind of mattered there, but oh well. So her W is a small AoE that also has some kind of charge time, but not really. She, can, she doesn't just stand there, but it doesn't uh, do the damage immediately. It flies up and flies down. Um, I hear that the enemy cannot see the circle for this, so they won't know where it'll land. However, they will know. Um, they will know that you cast it because there's a wide animation. You see that big dragon? I totally missed there, but that's totally fine. Let's do cool rounds. Alright, that was pretty decent damage. I like it. Oh, very long range too, now that I look at it. Wow, that's... It's like Li Ming style. Oh, it's that? Okay, the Q doesn't hit uh, uh, structures, so that's probably good. But yeah, the W, it does, and it also does a decent amount of damage. Which would be really good to poke. Alright. Now our E, very long cooldown, place a trap, once it arms, it stealths, and if someone goes near it, they get stasis for two seconds. Stasis, much like uh, Zeratul, makes them immune, doesn't lower their cooldown, if they have buffs, to keep the buffs, so it's really like a pause in time, which is fitting really. So let's try it, let's put it here. Now, as you can see, it does not work on minions. Hopefully, Arthas will actually come near us at some point. Oh, man. Maybe if I put it right next to him. There it is. So I can't attack him. He's just a stasis. I assume you could put it in front of you and maybe it activate before the, the enemy reaches you so that you could escape. So that's good. And... That was enjoyable. Okay. Uh, and we'll see our ultimate later. Alright, let's go about the talents now. Also, her passive makes it so that you get talents A level earlier, so I would not actually need to be 20 to get all my talents. I would be, I would need to be 19. As you can see, it's 1, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and 19. So first of all, three quests. First one, compounding a Aether, I think that's how you say it. Uh, after hitting 25 heroes with Sandblast, increase its damage by 100. It does 855 right now, so it's kind of decent. The thing is that you don't get bonuses while it's actually uh, trying to charge up. So kind of okay. This one, however, you do get the bonus immediately, and it can go higher up. Uh, the quest is every time you hit someone with Dragon's Breath, it deal deals 2 more damage up to 50. And after hitting 25 heroes, which would also mean that you are maxed out on the first quest, uh, you gain an additional 150 damage instead of 100 down the first queue. And this, your sight radius is increased by 100%. That's very interesting. So I, I'll definitely try that. Uh, next, we have Time Walker's Pursuit. Kind of like a Conjurer's Pursuit. However, there's a bonus once you're at the end where you get 5% ability power after 15 orbs. Also, I assume you cannot go higher than 1.5 mana regen. So that's kind of a small downside, but the 5 ability power might make up for it. And peer into the future. Might not see a lot of play, but perhaps perhaps she could be played as a fake support. I'm not sure about her other spells, but maybe there's a way to make it so a lot of stuns. And, uh, I don't know. We'll check it out. 
Now, if you've looked at their Twitter, you might have noticed how this ability actually looks. I'm going to show it quickly. Uh, it's very large, first of all, and when you use it, a dragon flies over, which is really fun. Five second cool. I almost thought it had no cooldown for a second, but no, it's only because I have cooldowns activated. Uh, Alright, so let's reset. And let's take deep breathing, which I would probably take. Sandblast hits two enemies now. That's decent. Probably hard to manage, especially with the charge time, so I'm not exactly sure. Bronze talent. Increase your basic attack range by 35%. That's already quite good to me. Using sandblast increases damage of your next basic attack by 250%. That's also very good. You could... Kind of reminds me of a Kael'thas, that one passive build that you used to have, where you could activate a steed and attack, and you'd have more physical damage when your spells are on cooldown. It's definitely something to look up to. Uh, and enveloping Assault increases the radius of Dragon Soul by only 25% hour. That could sound a lot to some people, but to me it's kind of... It's kind of meh, especially because it might not be that hard to land. Yes, it has a charge time, but your enemies don't know where it goes, so maybe you have an advantage with that. But well, let's try Bronze Talon and just see how far it can actually attack. Is that the max range? Oops. I mean, that's pretty good right there. It's a decent attack range. Let's try that quick. Just to make sure that we... Not terrible at these. I need to lead it up way more. There you go. Let's just up our first quest. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Uh, Mobius Loop. Reduce dragon's breath mana cost and cooldown by 50%, but also reduces damage by 25%. Decent. Uh, if you pick this, that would make the quest much easier to actually get. However, that's a, a lot of damage reduced. Perhaps it doesn't... What? What is this alt thing? Oh, it shows the quest, I guess, and the reward. Oh, okay, that's cool. Uh, yes, yeah, so if you had uh, a lower cooldown, but proportionally you would do more damage over time. But yeah, maybe you don't actually need that much damage since you have your Q already. And uh, maybe she's going to be more of a poke champion. And since Dragon's Breath can also hit structures, that would make it probably even better. Let's keep going. Dragon's Breath damages more in the center. Uh, not very precise. What could a center mean? Is it like the inner 50% perhaps? Could be alright. Not sure I would go for that. Uh, reduce time traps cooldowns by 50%. After stasis ends, the enemy is also slowed by 40% for 3 seconds. Decent. Uh, I like the idea that you could really ahead of time place a trap and then ambush someone and when they run away they get stunned but then when they come back your teammates might have a time to join you and they're slowed so it's easier to land all of your abilities definitely all right i'm gonna try mobius loop just because i want to see uh just because i want to see what kind of difference it would be with a lower cooldown because it's a 14 seconds cooldown and with it it would be seven seconds which sounds a lot better. Let's keep going. Level 9. Slowing sands places a sand vortex that greatly slows enemies inside it. The longer it is active, the more you slow up to 50%. Let's look it up. What kind of range do we have here? That's kind of okay range, but the circle itself is rather big, which is great. I wonder if I could hit... Oh, never mind. It's just gonna kill itself. Ooh, that's Bronze Stalin. It's your attack damage, really nice. But uh, that's cool. Oh, I still had it on. Yeah, it drains mana, uh, four mana per second. That's that's kind of low, so you could probably use that a lot. It doesn't do damage, of course, but a slow is always good, especially because it helps you land all of your other abilities. Uh, let's look at the other ultimate. Let's Talon, Little Sloop, Temporal Loop. Choose an enemy hero. After three seconds, they will teleport back to the location where you cast Temporal Loop on them. So this would be insanely good where you're chasing someone and they run away faster than you, for instance, and then they just instantly come back to where they were. So you could just wait for them, have your spells already uh, 
Well, not necessarily in the air, but you know what I mean. They're already prepared for when he lands back. And I believe there's also a small timer that shows that helps you show where they'll be. So let's wait that he actually moves a little bit. Perhaps if I damage him, he'll start going back. There you go. So I use it, and then you see where he's supposed to go. And... Whoop. See that? That's pretty good. I would probably pick that over to Sand. Even though both have a uh, very good potential. Next, level 12. Bye bye. Reduce the cast time of your Hearthstone by 75%. And it is not interrupted by taking damage. Which would mean. How long is Hearthstone? Cool. First off, the cast. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, that's probably like 5 or 6 seconds. So it'd be. Probably down to like 1, 1. 1.5. So that's pretty good. Maybe maybe actually 1.75, I'm not sure. But yeah. Let's see what it does when you actually have the time. Oh. It also changes the animation, which is pretty great. And it's much faster. Yeah, that's like 2 seconds or something. Probably even a little bit less. So that's good. Uh, oh, 300%. That's weird that it says something different once you picked it, but that's cool anyway. Um, yeah, so I think it would probably be a good choice in general. Not very combat effective, but if you don't want to die to give up XP, maybe at early, well not early ambushes because you're, you're level 12 already, but uh, I can see some potential. Maybe compared to the other ones it might not be as good. Timeout is like a ice block that doesn't do the... Uh, the, the explosion of ice at the end. If you if you play Jaina, you would know about that. But yeah, um, seven seconds. That's a lot, and it can also be reactivated early to end it. So that's cool. Uh, I wonder. It says stasis. So does your cooldown lower when you're in it? I guess we'll see. And reaching through time, increase the range of dragon's breath and sand blast by 25%. That's Pretty good. I generally like passive, so I might try that one out. Let's first check out timeout. Uh, let's set proper, reset down. Okay. This, 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 and then timeout. Ooh, I didn't even check if I had cooldowns on. Okay. Let's try with cooldowns on this time. I use this, and then I stasis. No, my cooldowns still go down, so that's pretty good. Makes you able to recharge and be immune during that time, so when you come out, you can use your abilities again. And the uh, seven seconds actually fit with Mobius Loop, so you could use it, go into stasis, uh, do it whole time, and then cast again once you're back. Next, we would have Shifting Sands. Sandblast increases ability power by 10%. You have to hit a hero, of course. Uh, I can go up to 50. The duration... Oh, I see. For only 10 seconds. So what's the cooldown? 3 seconds. So I guess you can miss once or twice without the problem. And it also goes through minions, so it's not that hard to hit. And then you would gain 10 power... 10 ability power, that means that your other spells are also empowered. I guess only your W also does damage, and uh, your Q, so that's decent. Uh, once you're at 50%, that would be kind of insane, especially for like, a long range arrest, which she seems to excel at. So that's cool. Next is fast forward. If Sandblast travels at least 75% of its base distance, its cooldowns is reduced to 1 second, not by one second. So that'd be alright. The cooldown only starts once you actually launch the attack. It is a two second uh, lower cooldown on it. That's pretty good, more or less. Next, Quantum Overdrive. Activate to gain ability power. You gain 25% for 10 seconds. That's alright. Cooldown of 30 seconds, which is really good. Uh, I would probably... Oh, that's a really hard choice. Fast forward, I'm not sure I would actually pick that. 
But that's good in general. This one's pretty good. Ah, oh, they're all good. Oh my god, I don't know where to go. Well, let's just go fast forward for now. Because, you know, whatever. Uh, loophole. Temporal loop now hits multiple heroes. So you have to do near the initial target. I assume you'd have a... Let's check. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, okay. So the AoE is the range it would go to on other heroes as well. Pretty good, I feel. Maybe not necessarily compared to the other areas. Let's check. After casting Sandblast, leave an echo of yourself behind. And next time you cast Sandblast, the echo also does a untalented Sandblast that does 50 percent damage. I feel like it's a very powerful ability. Especially because it has a really long range and you can sort of hide where your uh, sand guy would be. Let's say you were in a bush, cast it, and then you would move out. They would not expect another one from behind. Also, I just noticed that there's a line right here. I'm sure you can see it. Uh, that would probably mean to 75%. Which seems... That me or it kind of looks longer than 75. It's probably because it actually looks less long with the pointy arrow, but who knows. Next, Endorhol Anomaly. You gain three charges of time trap and you can have three active at once. Decent. I'm not sure if it compares well to the other abilities, but still very good nonetheless. If you are really good with the time trap, you could probably use it effectively in a team fight. And since you would have three, I assume you could put three in a row rather quick. And I believe, yeah, once your first cooldown finishes, you get all three charges instead of only one. So that's interesting. Could definitely make some use in combat that would last really long. Place three, then combat, and then place another three later. So that's cool. And uh, slowing sands don't cost mana, and you would slow 70% instead of 50. That would obviously make sand slowing sands much stronger. Uh, I feel like it might not compare to loophole, however, in the sense of the level 19 So I would probably go no matter what ultimate I took, past or future me, unless maybe it's like a super melee heavy team, so they're all clumped together, so you would just... Well, you would have to turn to fight around too, so that they come at a good spot. Or maybe if you're chased by multiple people and then they're clumped, clumped up, you would cast it, and then run away, and after a few seconds they would be out of your way all at once. So that's good. Uh, let's reset talents. Do this, this, this. I don't remember what I took last time. This time, let's go with their higher range. Let's go fast forward, past and future me. Oh, so I guess once you extend the range, the 70% actually changes and it doesn't seem quite as bad anymore. Maybe that's a glitch because it's still PTR, but who knows? As you can see, I might double cast it as well. And even after you cast with your double, you get yet another double, so that's great. You don't have to, like, spend a charge. It doesn't work that way, so that's cool. So let's do cooldowns again. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this quest, then edit it back to once we're done with that. Alright. We are back, and look at what just happened. Oh, I guess you can't see it right now. Let's say I go all the way over here. I still have vision all the way here. Look at that. Oh god, stop moving like that. Okay, so yeah. It used to be about over here, like a normal hero. Now it's all the way over here, so you would be... It would, would be much easier to actually cast your spells. Because you can actually see where you're going. If you don't have minions, that could have led to uh, difficulties in that area. So that's very cool. I think that she is insanely powerful. She is definitely a, the strongest long-range poke in the game. Uh, and I feel like she would probably compare in styles of the Li Ming. Say that she has 
a very short cooldown kind of linear attack. I know that matching missile is not that linear, but yeah. Dragon's Breath, which is an AoE, but kind of works different. Probably harder to actually avoid. And then Time Trap, which is not exactly a teleport, but it kind of serves as uh, the utility. I guess her ultimates don't actually do damage, but they're also kind of utility based. Uh, I <laughs> cannot imagine if you had both against you. That would be really annoying. Oh, look at how beautiful that was. If I cast it against myself, it just like X's or does it in both directions. That's really hard to avoid. I wonder if you have to be in range. You definitely don't. It doesn't show vision, but if you had the quest, you definitely see further and you could probably use your clones as a long range poke even after your I don't know, even in base, why not? So that's pretty cool. So this was the chromy first look in tri-mode. Hope you enjoyed it. And bye-bye.